WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very cool, pleasant, and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You've got the Dow up 36, the S&P up just slightly, NASDAQ down 14, Russell's up 3, semis are down 4, trannies are up 52. That is a mixed bag. Gold is flat, silver is flat, lightspeed crude is up a buck 47, natural gas is off 4 pennies, 30 year treasury print out at 118.30, and the U.S. dollar index has gone to flat, trading out at about 1. 10346. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini upper left hand side. We know we're trading inside its daily profile. Resistance up at 5257. That's going to be important at day's end, just like support will be important, which is all the way down at 5167. Spot volatilics is not uh, showing its hand right now. The spot volatilics 50 day exponential moving average is printed at 1399. The spot fix 1399. It's waiting to see how the markets respond today after Fed Powell releases his statement. If you take a look at the NQ, it's trading above the top of its daily profile, but we can see a descending trend to the downside out there. A key level of support. There's really two to watch on any move lower today from a close standpoint, not an intraday swoosh to the upside or downside. And that's at 18.026. A close below that, we should see 17.761. U.S. dollar index is trading above its daily profile. It's trading inside a bullish structured weekly profile. Odds favor it's making and move up towards the 104.19 level. Gold, and if that does, if that unfolds, you've got the gold contract that's got a TD9 count top trading below the center of its bearish structured profile. That would suggest a zinger down to the 2109 level. Silver has formed a new bearish structured daily profile. That says that the key area to watch on a close is 2494. A close below that should bring 2436 about. Now we've got resistance up at 2552. Lights we crude and this moment in time, 1101 in the morning, is forming a sell the D point pattern. We got a bearish reversal candle and a new profile. So what go what uh, go what lights we crude should do is pull back towards the 79 11 80 44 range out there we take a look at natural gas it's got to buy the d point pattern but it has not proven itself to ui or anybody out there why because price remains below the bottom of that daily profile that's resistance that's up at a buck 92 and finally the 30-year treasury successfully tested and rejected its swing point from back in february yesterday now price looks like it wants to trade higher folks stay tuned for the trader's Z show but if you're off to start your Wednesday. Please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.